Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am filming another haul video for you guys. I picked up some new drugstore stuff recently. Salem has come to join us and you can't see him. If you want to see him, say so he's gonna get up here and do the haul with us because he sees all the stuff on the table. Don't ya? You were laying down. You're always such a ham wanting to get in videos. Um, but like I was saying, I picked up a bunch of new drugstore stuff that I've been testing out and I have opinions on most of them. And then I was sent some other stuff through PR and I thought I would share it with you guys. So let's just go ahead and jump into this haul. So first I'm going to talk about the things that I've picked up recently at the drugstore. So I asked you guys, I think on Instagram, like on Insta stories, I took a picture of like the CoverGirl, the scented products, and I asked you all if I should try these out or not. And I think about 67% of you guys said to try it out and like the other 30 34% said don't. Um, but so I just decided to go ahead and pick them up anyway. And I was most drawn to these products. The CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. Which it's weird that this is called Highlighter Palette because it's like got a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. They're not all highlights. So it's kind of weird that they called it that. I picked up the CoverGirl True Naked Peach Punch Palette. I thought the colors in here looked really pretty. And then I picked up the CoverGirl Chocoholic Contour Palette. And I didn't really know if I'd be able to use these two shades, but I thought this might be good for contouring. So this product right here, oh my gosh, it stinks. It just smells so bad to me. It smells like a medicine chocolate. Like it has a very like kind of almost Ben Gay like minty smell. I don't know I just it smells really bad and most of the time smells don't bother me but this just really stinks and the colors in here don't really work for me like this ended up looking really kind of muddy as a contour I think it's just too dark for my skin tone and then these highlights they're just definitely not gonna work this one is got a lot of like chunky shimmer in it and then this color is just too dark for me so this was a fill and I think I'm gonna take this back because like I said I do not like it at all do not recommend that I just I don't like it this palette here the peach punch highlighter palette now I don't know I'm kind of debating on taking this back because the only thing that I really care for in here is the blush and I already have blushes that are similar to this one so there's just no need and this doesn't smell quite as bad as the chocolate one but it still has that underlying medicine sort of smell to it I just I do not like the way it smells so I think I'm gonna take this back too I'll go ahead and swatch this for you so you guys can see and I don't know I just don't really care for the bronzer in this it's just I don't know it's just too kind of orangey for me I don't know there's something about the tone of it it just doesn't really work on my skin tone like I said the blush is the only thing in here that is pretty but it's like I already have blushes that are this color and then this highlight just isn't the right shade for me so yeah I think I'm just going to go ahead and take that back too because it's like what's the point if I don't really like it and have other things that I like what's the point of keeping it and then I feel like this haul is already starting out like on a bad note but I'm going to be real with you guys if I don't like something I'm going to let you know um the true naked peach punch palette once again this smells like the other peach thing it's not like a super strong like medicine peach smell it's really light so it doesn't really bother me that bad, but the colors in here, I thought that they were going to be really pretty, but they just, I don't know. It's like they just don't have enough pigmentation or when you go to blend them on your eyes, it's just like they all kind of milled together and don't look that great. This peachy color here is just a peach color that is very unflattering on my skin tone. It just ends up making my eyes look really tired and the shimmers in here just, they just don't do anything for me. Like they're just not shimmery enough. 
Even though when you swatch them, they look pretty decent. I don't know. Maybe it's just not the right shades for me. I just wasn't crazy about it. It had a lot of fallout. So this was also a fail. So I'm going to be taking this back as well. So all of these scented CoverGirl products, the ones that I picked up, I cannot recommend because I... I just don't like them. I don't think they're very good. A CoverGirl product that I did pick up, and I think I do like this. I'm still testing it out, but I don't hate it. Um, it's this highlighter palette. I have this shade over here on my cheekbones today, and this is the CoverGirl True Blend Stunner Palette in 500. I don't know if it has like a shade name. I guess the shade name is It's Lit. This is the one that's not super like blinding. It's more... Um, kind of natural looking and then the other two are very highlighted um, they do have a little bit of like a glitter in it but it's so fine that it just looks like a really intense highlight and I think that's the reason I'm trying to test these out some more because because of that glitter sometimes I feel like it wears a little weird on the skin okay some other things that I picked up that I actually like the Maybelline Lemonade Craze Palette. So far, I have really been enjoying this palette. I used this palette today and the cover Color Pop Yes Please, this palette right here, to create this makeup look that I have on. I do love this palette because you can create some pretty wearable everyday looks or you can also create some colorful looks. This shade here in Main Squeeze, it's like an eyeshadow topper or something like that. It just has a lot of chunky shimmer. It's not very pigmented even when you use it with a makeup setting spray. So that is the only shade in this palette that I don't really like. The other ones are good. Now they do have some kick up they do have a little bit of fallout and are slightly powdery but you can get them to work and I think definitely compared to that CoverGirl palette this is way better for the money I think it's worth it now is it gonna be as good a quality as like Urban Decay or Too Faced or you know those type of eye eyeshadows no it's not that quality but for drugstore I feel like it's good I feel like it's just as good as their the city mini palettes I feel like the same quality as those palettes so do like that and then the L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted scented eyeshadow palette now the scent on this does not bother me at all. It's so light. You can barely smell it, honestly. Now, this palette does have kick up and fallout. So, you know, some of the more shimmery shades, it's good to use them with a makeup setting spray. But from the shades that I have used in this palette, I do like this. And I do like the tones of the peach shades in here. Um, compared to the CoverGirl one. I don't know the tones in this. I know it looks similar But the tones are slightly different and these tones work better on my skin Once again, I feel like this is a palette that you can create some really pretty everyday looks with it some pretty smoky looks or you know with the peach shades you can create something with a little bit more color but it's not quite as colorful as the Maybelline palette so maybe if you're not really into these brighter shades and you want something more wearable go with this one but yeah out of the new drugstore palettes that are out right now these two are my favorites um the CoverGirl one was a definite miss another L'Oreal product that I picked up it was with the Paradise Enchanted palette, and there was some other things over there with this little display, um, but I picked up the Voluminous Lash Paradise Rose Gold Eyeliner, and I did try to use this the other day, like as liner, but it's such a light color that it didn't show up real good. I think that maybe this might be good for like one of those cut crease makeup looks where you put this color in the crease. I think this would be really pretty for that. So maybe I will do a tutorial soon using it that way and we'll see how it works. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know down in the comments. But I do think it is really pretty. I think it's a really cool kind of concept. And especially from the drugstore, it's so hard to find cool like liquid liners like this that are colorful or just different so I do like that on to the makeup products that were sent to me in PR 
Um, okay, the first thing that I got in PR was a Lancome uh, gift package that they sent me. They did contact me and ask if I wanted to try some of their products and I said, sure, send me whatever you would like. So the things that they sent me and that I have been loving, the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear, I don't know how to pronounce this, it's in French, um, but I do really enjoy this foundation so far. I know that this is a little more pricey, it's more like of a luxury, like getting, well I guess this is a luxury brand. It's not as expensive as some of the luxury brands, it's more on the low end of luxury, but this was 40, I looked it up and this is $47, so it is, you know, kind of expensive, but like for instance, the Urban Decay Naked Skin is $40, so I mean, it is a little bit more expensive, but this foundation looks beautiful. If you're looking for a long-wearing foundation that doesn't look heavy or cakey, this is a really great foundation. This and the Estee Lauder Double Wear, these are very comparable foundations. So if you like Estee Lauder Double Wear and you're looking to try something new, this would be something really good to try out. Like both of those foundations remind me of the Revlon Color Stay, but like a step up from the Revlon Color Stay because I find that they just look a little more lightweight and just smooth out your complexion a little more. I mean, I still love Revlon Color Stay. I mean, it's a great long wearing drugstore foundation, but on days when I really want my skin to look extra smooth and want my foundation to last, especially in this hot, humid summer weather, this foundation has been working out great for me. I love the shade that they sent me. It matches so well. They sent me two tinned 210 buff in which i guess is buff neutral um so yeah and it comes with a pump the only thing about this bottle is the way that it's shaped sometimes it falls over a lot and i'm scared i'm gonna break this um but the glass is really thick on this so i think it would take a lot to break this bo bottle but have been enjoying that and then they sent me the um advanced genifique concentrates it's the youth activating concentrate and I know this stuff is super pricey, but I have really been enjoying this. Um, I used the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair, and this product is like that one, but I like this better than the Estee Lauder one, because something about the Estee Lauder, I liked it, but I felt like sometimes it kind of gave me that, is it called Amelia? I know that's not right. <laughs> Um, those little bumps underneath your skin, sometimes it gave me those where this does not. This clears those up. In the mornings when I wake up after I've used this at night, my skin just looks so refreshed. It just makes my skin look so nice and youthful in the mornings. And I would repurchase this with my own money. Now, would it be something that I would repurchase all the time? No. It would be something that if I got a gift card or if Sephora was having their VIB sale, it would be something that I would pick up then where I could get it, you know, discounted because like I said, it is pricey, but I do feel like it will last for quite a while. I mean, I know that there's only like 2.5 fluid ounces in here. You don't need much of it on your face. And the way that this is designed, Salem is back there playing. Oops. He's playing. I've got like a little string tied on the doorknob. <laughs> And he's playing with that. But the way that this is designed, it see how that little thing goes up and down? Whenever you screw the lid on, it like puts the right amount of product into the little dropper so that when you go to use it, you use the amount that you're supposed to use on your face and not use too much um, or too little. So I do like this, have been enjoying it. They also sent me a large tube or the regular size tube of the Monster Big Mascara. You guys know that I have been loving this. I had had a sample previously that I had been using and fell in love with it. They sent me this and they actually sent me their waterproof version of this as well. But I gave the waterproof one to my mom because she loves waterproof mascaras and while I do like waterproof mascara sometimes, like if I'm going to the pool or, you know, going to be somewhere where, you know, like at a, at a funeral or somewhere where I think I'm going to cry, that's about the only time that I'll wear waterproof because it's so hard to get off. And that stuff 
was extremely hard to get off. So if you're looking for a really good waterproof mascara, that one is awesome. And I love this mascara. It gives your lashes a lot of volume and length. Now, if you're one of those people that you like really natural looking lashes and you don't like the borderline clumpy look, you probably won't like this because sometimes it can make your lashes look a tad clumpy. But me personally, I like that look sometimes on my lashes. It just makes them look more dramatic. And when I do intense makeup looks, you know, I like that. So if you hear noises, Salem is playing with stuff and getting up on my computer. And I hope he doesn't. Salem, don't. I'm going to have to get him down. Get off the keyboard, bud. Don't get up on the keyboard. <laughs> it started beeping. <laughs> Don't you like my outfit? I'm just like so comfy. And yeah, it's the middle of summer and I'm wearing sweats, but that's because it's code in the house. Um, it started doing a bunch of beeping because he was on the keyboard and he was like, what is happening? Yeah, bud, you don't need to get up there. Just lay down there. Okay, I don't remember what I was saying, but yeah, I really do like this mascara. So it's a good hat in mascara. They also sent me three of their shaker. I forget what these things are called. I don't know. They're like, I'll just put the name in the video because I can't remember what it's called. But um, they sent me three of these. I have yet to use these. I think these are like liquid lipsticks. And the applicator is really kind of weird on these. Um, it's like fatter. Salem, don't knock stuff over. He's being so bad right now. Salem. I'm probably going to have to put him out because he's just being naughty. But yeah, I have yet to use these. They have like a fat little tip on them. Which, I don't know. Are these like liquid lipsticks? I kind of thought that they were, but they seem kind of moisturizing. Like a lip oil almost. Huh. So yeah, I'll have to use these. Maybe I need to shake them up. Maybe that's the issue. Okay, yeah, I think I needed to shake that one up a little more. But yeah, they, I don't know, maybe they're not liquid lipsticks. Maybe they're like a moisturizing kind of lip product. Um, so they sent me that one. They sent, which this pink one is in Pink Pocket, which is this, both of those two shades, um, both of those two swatches. They sent me, I like to mauve it, which is mauve. Yeah, these things are interesting. I'm definitely gonna have to try these. <gasps> I should have read up more on what these were supposed to be. I just assumed they were like liquid lipsticks. Okay, I don't know. They are like lip oil type of things. So that's interesting. And then they sent me Fly Me to Maroon, which is a maroon color, which this would probably be really pretty for fall. It's like, I feel like when I first watched these, when I got them, they weren't this oily. Like, are they supposed to be like that? I guess so. This is the Like to Mauve It over here in the Fly Me to Maroon. Is that what that one was called? Yeah. Okay, so that was those, and the last Lancome product that they sent me was like a makeup remover, and that's in the bathroom. I'm still kind of testing that out. Um, I feel like it's kind of irritating on my eyes. My skin is just so sensitive that I can't use anything with like a lot of alcohol, like those makeup remover wipes and stuff like that, because it just irritates me. So, um, still kind of testing that out. Get these swatches off. And then like I showed you guys in that tutorial that I did with the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, I got a PR package from Urban Decay with all of their stuff from the Born to Run collection. So they sent me their Born to Run um, palette, which is gorgeous. I am in love with this palette. It's one of my favorite palettes right now, especially for doing colorful looks. It's just beautiful. So if you've been on the fence about this and you don't have a lot of colorful palettes in your collection, I think this would be a nice one to add. Um, now with some of the shades, they can have a little bit of fallout. And with some of the shimmer shades, it's good to use them with a makeup setting spray. 
but all around I do think it is a good palette I do like it um, and I love just the the design of it like I love that outside of it and I like the fact that it has a huge mirror and that it flips back so that's nice um, that collection also came with three different lipsticks which the only lipstick really that I'm super drawn to is 66 which is one of their comfort mattes it's like a purpley mauve which is really beautiful and then it came with ready which is uh, metalized which has a bunch of like glitters in it which this is pretty I could see myself wearing this maybe at some point it's a pretty kind of reddish pink like when you look at the lipstick it's like it's kind of duochrome where when the light hits it a certain way the glitters turn kind of gold so that's interesting and then the last color that was in that collection is Marfa I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right and this is a comfort matte which is a very dark purple this would be pretty really pretty in the winter and fall so maybe I'll use it more then um, it probably wouldn't be a color that I would wear all the time just because it is so dark but that would be really pretty on somebody with a dark skin tone I think that would be gorgeous and then that collection also came with a mini all-nighter makeup setting spray so this will be good to keep for traveling and then it also came with three different uh, 24 7 liners so this is overdrive which is a really pretty kind of teal green which looks like that and then um, it came with lucky which this was also in their beached collection too this is a copper and then the last one in this collection is double life which is a dark bronzy kind of brown which is similar to um, lucky actually it's just slightly a little darker so those were the 24-7 pencils that came with that collection that they sent me. And then the last products that were sent to me in PR was a package from Grande Lips. And they sent me two of their plumping liquid lips. And this shade here is in, the color is not on the package, so I hate that, but it was something mauve. Um, I'll put it in the video or down in the description box and I'll also link these products um, all the products that I'm talking about today so this is a really pretty like pink mauve color it looks pretty like it looks pretty pink once you get it on I do like it um, now with this formula it is pretty long wearing it lasts about five or six hours at first it doesn't feel drying but I feel like at the end of the five hour mark like you know before lunch or something like that it does start to feel a little dried out so that would be my only complaint about this is it is slightly drying I do like the color of this and whenever you put it on it does make your lips feel a little tingly like it has a minty kind of tingle to it I don't notice a whole lot of plumping with it but the color is really pretty I do like the color and then they also sent me the like a metalized like a metallic one in their hydro plump liquid lipstick collection and this is in rose something rose blush this does have the color on the lid there um, and I do really like this color but I like to top it with a gloss and that's kind of what I do with this too to make them not as drying but this is a really cool color um, I don't like a lot of these metalized lipsticks or like metallic lipsticks, but I think this one works because it looks like a nude. So I do really like this color. I think it is very pretty. It's very rose gold, you know, so I like that. And then they also sent me their Hydra Plump Lip Primer, which I need to use this a little more, but I think this product will be really good to use over, like not over, under matte liquid lipsticks because this has a matte finish to it and it just smooths your lips out a little bit like it kind of fills in those lines on your lips like if you have really wrinkly sort of lips and this also feels minty on your lips as well so I feel like this might kind of hydrate your lips a little more 
um, to make liquid lipsticks not feel as drying. So I kind of forgot the day that I tested this out, I forgot to use this. So I'll have to use these together to see if that helps, you know, this not to feel so drying on the lips. And then they sent me their Grande Stay Put Lip Liner, which I just used this for the first time today. This is one of those clear liners that help, like it's just a clear lip liner that just helps your lipstick to last a little longer. And if you have things that have a tendency to feather out, it keeps those products from feathering. So. I haven't really gotten a chance, like I said, this is the first day that I've used it, so I haven't gotten a chance to really wear this enough to let you know if it's worth it or not. So um, I'll keep you guys posted on these Grande lips because I need to use those a little more. I just noticed that my thing wasn't filming, so I hope that that didn't cut off like a while ago. Um, but like I said, I'll have to test those lip products out, the Grande lips, and let you know um, what I think about them. So I hope that you guys did enjoy this haul video today. I have another haul that I want to film for you guys soon and it's going to be a clothing haul because I've picked up a lot of new clothing recently. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this or if you do enjoy hauls, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments if you have picked up some new products that you are loving, if there's some new things that I need to pick up and try out. So yeah, I hope that you guys have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye-bye.